Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Today I'm going to show you how to do the shells and cord crochet pattern. And it is so pretty. It's also really versatile, which is great. You can either dress it up or dress it down depending on which yarn you're using. It can either make a very timeless heirloom baby blanket or it can make a very casual summertime throw. So either way, this yarn is very yarn stash friendly, which is fantastic when a lot of us are going through our yarn stashes right now. But before I even get to that, I wanted to say if at any point in my video you do like my video, please push the thumbs up button. That way YouTube sees that people like my video and it bumps up on the search bar for other people to see and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel that way you don't miss any of my videos I try to release two a week and you're not going to want to miss out this project being yarn stash friendly is awesome when a lot of us are going through our yarn stashes right now trying to figure out what projects to make with them I actually have a new chart for you right here <laughs> don't screenshot this your phone or the computer i have this link a link to this pattern in the notes section below you just have to click on it and then print that out i also attached this chart to the pattern if you wanted to click on the pattern and print that out this chart is attached to that as well so don't worry about screenshotting I took care of that for you but all you do is you look at the project that you want to make then write down the dimensions of that project so you know okay when i'm making my chain my foundation chain my foundation chain needs to be at least this many inches long because we know that we're going to roll back up onto row one so you want your foundation chain to be a little bit longer than the bottom length dimension there and then you would just do row after row after row after row and eventually measure out your rows to make sure that the height of that blanket met that other dimension. Now another question that I got with a previous blanket video was how many skeins of yarn do I need to make this blanket? And that was a really hard question for me to answer because one, I don't know which blanket size you wanted to make. And two, I don't know what yarn you're using, so it's really hard for me to say, hey, you're going to need 10 skeins of yarn for that, when I honestly don't know if that's going to be overkill or if I'm actually coming up short for you. That would be an awful recommendation. So I did find two more charts that I think will be extremely helpful for you, especially in a project that you can use almost any yarn in your stash to make. So if you look at this chart, you will see that on the top it has the different project types and on the side it has different brands of yarn. So on the top there are baby blankets and there's an afghan. Unfortunately it doesn't give you the option of saying hey I want to make a California king blanket here <laughs> but it does give you the rough idea of amounts of skeins you're going to need for a general blanket, general afghan. Then you look on the side and find the brand of yarn and you match those up and it will tell you approximately how many skeins of that yarn you will need to make that project. Pretty cool, right? Now, this particular chart, it is very specific in the type of brands of yarn that they have for you to choose from. So if you're working with a yarn and you don't see that brand of yarn on there, you can either, one, compare the yarn that you have with that yarn, find the closest match, and that will help to give you the approximate number of skeins you'll need. Or you can look at this chart right here, that I have found where it actually has the projects on the side and the yarn weight on the top. And all you have to do is go to your skein of yarn, find the yarn weight, okay, match that up, find the project, and they also have blankets for baby blankets and afghans. Match those up and it'll tell you approximately how many skeins of yarn you will need of that yarn weight for that project. Again, both of these charts are found in clickable links in the notes section below. So you can just click on that link and print it out. You don't need to screenshot anything. I just thought that would be very helpful for you for your future blanket projects or specifically this one when you can really use any yarn in your yarn stash that is not textured, any smooth type of yarn, and you can use this pattern and it'll look beautiful. Okay, so materials that you're gonna need. So now that you have the two charts, just go ahead and line up what type of yarn you're going to be using, whichever is in your yarn stash, or if you're buying something online, go ahead and 
that's the yarn you will use. The crochet hook that you will want to use is just the recommended crochet hook size that's on the yarn skein itself. Here is a picture of a yarn skein label where you will find the hook recommendation to use. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut off the work at the very end. You'll also need a tape measure if you are doing the diagram chart of, okay, I want to make this project. It needs to be 40 inches by 40 inches. That's the receiving blanket size that I'm making. So I will take my measuring tape and I will make sure at the end that my project is not complete until I've reached 40 inches by 40 inches. Okay. And of course, weave in your ends however you're going to weave in your ends. I use fabric glue most of the time. I am going to try weaving my ends with a tapestry needle this time to check it out. But weave in your ends however you weave in your ends. It's not a big deal. You do you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get right to how to make this stitch. Crochet hook my yarn here okay with this pattern you're going to want your foundation chain row your chain foundation row to be in a multiple of seven plus two so because i'm just showing you this pattern i'm going to go ahead and do 21 plus two so 23 chains but i want you to make your foundation chain as long as you need it to be to hit the dimension requirements of your project okay so go ahead and loosely chain because it's important that we make this bottom part loose so it can account for our shells. <laughs> a loose chain row, foundation row, of a multiple of seven plus two. One, two, three. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay, great. So in our first row, we're going to skip the first six chains. So looking at our V's, going one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to put two double crochets, then chain two, two double crochets, all in that same space right there. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that space, so if you see the three lines there, you're going to put two on the top, one on the bottom. Boom, just like that. Yarn over, pull through. Three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That is your first double crochet. So let's do that again in that same spot. So yarn over, same spot. Pull through. So you have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and do another double crochet in that same spot. So yarn over, same spot, yarn over, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more double crochet in that same spot, yarn over, same spot, yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Perfect, guys, that is your first shell. Okay, you got two double crochets, two chain twos, and two double crochets all in that same space, okay? Now you're going to skip two chains, so this one right underneath that double crochet, that's your first one. It kind of got real small because it got real crowded in this stitch, but that's one and then two. In that third space, you're going to put a double crochet, two yarns on the top, one on the bottom. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great. In the next space, put one double crochet. Perfect. Okay, skip two spots. So one chain, two chain. In the third chain, we're going to do another two double crochets in that, for, in that space. Two yarns on the top, one on the bottom. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
Okay, do another double crochet, same spot. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Chain two, one, two. Okay, two more double crochets in that same space. So yarn over, same space. Okay, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Last double crochet for that same spot. Yarn over, insert in that same spot. Yarn over, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Great. Okay, skip two chains. One, two. In that third chain, put one double crochet. In the next chain, put one double crochet. And that is the repeating pattern, guys. You start with a shell, and then you skip two spaces, and then put double crochet, double crochet. Skip two spaces. Do a shell. Skip two spaces. One, one. Skip two spaces. So next we're going to do another shell. So find skip one, skip two. So in that third space, I'm going to put two double crochets. One and two. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. And then two more double crochets in that same spot. One and two. Okay, so this is just the example, but you're going to take your foundation chain that meets the requirements of the blanket that you're making, and you're going to continue this pattern, guys, okay? So shell, skip two spaces, one, two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet skip two spaces, do your shell, which is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then skip two spaces. And the very last space, so you should end with three uh, chains. So one, two, in that third chain, the very last chain, you're just gonna put one double crochet. Boom, just like that, okay? And that is going to be your row one. When you are ready, go ahead and move to row two. So in row two, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, turning our work. And we are going to dive right into that shell. So when we do our shells in row two, we are going to just find the chain two gap space, okay? And that's where we're going to make our next shell. So yarn over. Find that chain two gap space right there. Insert your crochet hook into it. Yarn over, pull through. Got your three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's your first double crochet. Gotta do one more. Great, chain two. One, two. And two more double crochets in that same spot. Yarn over inside that big gap space. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Great, okay, so we have now finished that shell. We're moving on to the posts. You're going to do a front post double crochet. Okay, so yarn over. You're going to go in the side of it. Okay, so don't go into the space above it. You're going to go yarn over the side of it, push it forward, yarn over, pull that back through, and it just, it's like right behind it, okay? You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is your front post double crochet. Going to do the same thing for the next one, okay? So yarn over, find that double crochet, go in from the side of it, push it forward, okay? Yarn over, 
pull that through so it's like wiggling on the back of it like you're flossing a tooth. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Those are your two posts. Oh, they look great, your two cords. Okay, now we are onto our shell. So you just yarn over in that center gap of your shell. Pull through, pull through two. That's your first double crochet. Gonna do another one. Great, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Two chains and two more double crochets to finish off that shell. Great. And we go straight into our posts, our cords right there. So yarn over, go into the side of it, push it forward, yarn over, pull through, just like you're flossing a tooth. Perfect, right on its side. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great. Gonna do that one more time. Come in the side of it. Push it forward, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're on to another shell where we just dive right into two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets inside that big gap right in the middle. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, insert, got three, pull through two, pull through two, chain two, then two more double crochets. One and two. Perfect. So you're just going to repeat this, guys, until you reach the very end of row two. And when you reach the very end of row two, you're going to count your two double crochet spaces. So that's one and two. Got the turning chain two spot. So miss that one or skip that one, skip that one. Double crochet in the top of the third. Perfect. And it just brings it all square and in line. Great. Keep going. And I will meet you with round three. So with round three, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turning your work. Okay. So we dive right into a shell. So two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet inside that gap space of the shell. Two, two chains, and two double crochets. All right, so now we're on to our two post stitches or two cords. Now we want our cords to poke out only one side of the work. So these cords are only going to poke out on the front side, but on the back side, they're going to be hidden, okay? So when it comes to our cords, we're going to yarn over and we're going to come in from the front to the back. We're gonna find that double crochet stitch we're going to take our hook and push it, push it back, okay? And we come out the other side, yarn over and pull through. So now when we floss, we're flossing from the other side, okay? Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now this might be tricky for some, so I'm really going to try to zoom in extra, go extra slow for people on this back post double crochet. So you yarn over. So this is the double crochet that I'm going to do the back post on right there. I'm gonna come in from the back, push him back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that brings us straight to our two double crochet, two chain two, two double crochet. So one, oop, two, chain two, and then one, 
two. Okay, back to our posts. Got our two posts or two cords. So yarn over, come in from the back forward, push that double crochet, yarn over, pull through. So it's like flossing it from that side. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, finding the next post, come in, push back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Perfect. Move on to your shell, yarn over, into that gap, two double crochets, two chain twos, two double crochets. two and two double crochets continue row three all the way to the very end and once you reach the end you just skip those last two of the shell and you double crochet in the top of the chain two or that third space there and it just makes it all flat and smooth Okay, so chain three. After every row, you always chain three, okay? To the very end, the very last row is the only thing that's different. So after every row, you just chain three. Go straight into the shell, two double crochet, two chain twos, two double crochet, chain two, Two double crochets. Okay, so we have the posts sticking out this side. So with row four, we're going to do a front post double crochet where I go in the side, push it forward, yarn over, pull that through. So it's like dental floss. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Keeps it going straight. Yarn over, come through this side, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Great. Doesn't that look great? Okay, straight to a chain or two double crochets, two chains, and then two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Just like that. Okay, go straight to the next cord, yarn over, come through the side, stick out, pull through, two, two, and then back to our fan, or sorry, our shell, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. Okay. Continue that same pattern for row four all the way to the end. And in the very last space, you remember to skip those two of the shell in that third space, do a double crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and do row five just to help you out with that back post double crochet. So I'm going to chain three again because after every row we chain three. Turn our work. First thing is a shell, two double crochet, two chain two, two double crochet. Great. Okay, so we're looking at the backs of our cords. So we're going to yarn over, going to find our first double crochet there. Gonna come in from the front to the back. Gonna push that double crochet back, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two, pull through two. Okay, finding our next double crochet. Okay, so it's right there. Yarn over, come from the side front, 
push it back, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We got a fan. I keep calling fan. We got a shell. <laughs> yarn over, pull. Th Go ahead, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Sometimes slowing down messes you up a little bit, but it's important so you know what you're doing. Okay, so finished that shell into our cords again. So find that first double crochet right there. Yarn over, come from the front to the back, push that double crochet back, double crochet, yarn over, find that second double crochet there, come in from the side of it, push it back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I hope that was helpful, guys. If you still need any more instruction, feel free to ask, and I can make you a personal secondary slower video of that, okay? Or you can just go ahead and slow down the video or just keep watching until, until it makes sense, okay? Yarn over, pull through. So we're gonna do two doubles, two chains, two doubles. Great. Continue that row five all the way across. And in the very last space, again, you skip those two double crochets. And in that third space, the top of the chain three, you just double crochet. Sound good? When you have reached the very end of your project and you're ready for that last row, things look a little bit different because right now when you look at your work, you've got these humps hump, 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 right there, okay? So when you reach the, the end of your work, the last row of your work, we want, it looks a little different because it just flattens out the work for you, okay? So when you're ready for your last row, you're just gonna chain two. So one, two, turn your work, and not this space, because that kind of takes up that space right there. In that very, in the very top of that first double crochet of that shell, you're gonna put a half double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that space, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That's a half double crochet. You're gonna single crochet in the next space, the next double, so. There's your single. In that chain two gap, you're just gonna put one single crochet. Okay, in the next space, that other side of the shell, that double crochet, you're gonna put a single crochet. In the next space, you're gonna put a half double crochet. Pull through all three, great. Okay, when you get to the cord, you're going to do a double crochet decrease. So you're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only two, leaving two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the next space, pull through, so you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And what that does is it takes two spots and it makes it one. Decrease double crochet. Next space, you're gonna do a half double crochet. Got three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Next space is a single crochet. Next space, the big gap chain two space, you're just gonna do one single crochet. Okay, next double crochet, the top of it, you're gonna put a single crochet. Okay, the next double crochet right next to it, you're gonna put a half double crochet. Pull through all three. 
We've reached the next cord, so you're going to do a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that space, yarn over. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through only two. Okay, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the next space. Yarn over, pull three, through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that turns two spaces into one. Okay, you've reached your next shell. It's gonna go half double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, half double crochet. So half, single, 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 half. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Single, 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 half double crochet, just right there. And in the very last space, you're going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and that will fill in the gaps, guys, and make the top look flat for your project. So it will clean it up. So this pattern really is just repetition. You're either doing a shell, front post, front post, shell, front post, front post, or you're doing a shell, back post, back post, shell, back post, back post. That's really it. If you're still struggling with how to do the front post or back post, it's okay. Feel free to contact me with any of my contact information below and let me know, hey, I'm still struggling with this stitch. Can you help me? And I would love to help you. Not a problem at all. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also enjoy all these videos right here where I show how to make other blankets. You might also want to check out this video here that is recommended for you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really have a lot of fun crocheting with you. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.